Fala gente, esse aqui vai ser um vídeo muito bacana, que eu vou fazer a entrevista com esse cara aqui que é uma lenda, tá? O nome dele é Ray Hunter, ele é um herpetologista, ele é um cara especialista em serpentes, é um cara que tem um trabalho de muita experiência, tá? Faz muito tempo ele trabalha com isso e a gente vai descobrir diversas coisas hoje. Então fiquem ligados que tem muita coisa bacana pra vocês verem. Sorry. <laughs> uh, tell us, uh, how did you begin the passion for snakes? Uh, as a kid, I've always liked snakes, and I felt bad for them because nobody else likes them. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's so nice. Why your nickname is Cobra Man? Uh, that was given to me many years ago from a friend of mine that uh, gave me the nickname because most of what I work with is cobras. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. That's really nice. And how long have you been working with snakes? Um, about 30, I want to say 32 years, 32 or 33 years. What's the purpose of uh, for the venom you sell? Uh, most of it goes to universities for research, um, research and development. Some of the venom we're working with now goes to a, a local uh, pharmacology or pharmacy that mm -hmm. makes uh, a pain medication with it. Oh, that's real nice, that's really nice. And the cobra venom or the other species? Uh, I used to work with a lot more than just cobras, but mostly cobras. Oh, okay. And uh, how much dollars per gram of snake venom here in the US? It depends on the snake. Um, cobra venom sells anywhere from 200 a gram to 400 a gram, depends on what they're wanting, the species of cobras, how much they want, and stuff like that. Um, coral snake venom sells for 2,500 a gram. I think the most expensive venom is a uh, boom sling venom, yeah. which until yesterday I thought was $6,200 a gram, but apparently the price has gone down to around 4,000 a gram. Oh, okay. About the self utilization, right? Uh, how does the process work? Um, it's basic immunology 101. You introduce an antigen into your body. In this case, the venom is the antigen, and your body builds antibodies to neutralize the antigen. Yeah. You know, in this case, that your body will build up um, antibodies to attack the antigen, the venom that has gone in your body to neutralize it. Okay, but like uh, the process after you extract the venom. You uh, dilute it? I dilute it. Dilute it? Yeah. Uh, how, how many times do you? Well, when you're first starting, you dilute it like at a ratio of one to 10,000. Oh, no. So it'd be like one drop of venom in with 10,000 drops of sodium chloride or whatever, sterile water, whatever you're using. I use sodium chloride. Um, but as you as you go in time, you know, if you're, that's if you're starting. And then in time, you start increasing it little by little. And some people go all the way up to straight venom, which is not necessary to do, but uh, I have friends of mine that inject themselves with straight black mamba venom. Oh, you know, God. one of my friends actually takes his eight foot black mamba and just lets it bite him on the oh, arm. My God. So you can go all the way up, but that's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, work on your body. Okay. You know, it, it's a lot of work on your liver and kidneys. Oh, my God, yeah. It's very, very, it can be damaging to your li liver and kidneys. Okay, okay. About the self immunization, uh, why do you do that? Because I work with so many animals. Yeah. My, my uh, chances of being having an accident are much higher than a collector that has 10 or 20 animals. Okay. And what poisons of snake do you use? I use nine different poisons, yeah. venoms. <laughs> what species yeah. are that? Uh, five of them are cobras. Um, there's king cobra, cape cobra, monocle oh cobra, oh. um, Egyptian cobra, and I'm missing one of the cobras. Cape, monocle, oh, Indian cobra. Indian cobra. Yeah. And then I use coral snake, um, black mamba, Black West mamba. African green mamba and boom slime. Oh my god, 
dead. Aren't they toxins one, right? The most in Africa, dead. yeah. Oh, it's the most toxic. Like drop for drop in Africa, yeah. Oh, that's real nice. <laughs> and how many times have you been beaten? By 34. 54 times. Yeah. And how many of them have you suffered any damage? Well, I've only been to the hospital five times. Five times. Um, but I have various bites, you know, I have a piece of a finger missing there. This finger is cooked from a, this is from a um, Egyptian cobra. That's from a Malaysian Hagen's viper. My worst would have been the Eastern diamond back bite that I had to get the fasciotomy from. Uh, so that's a proof that it works, right? Yeah, it works. Yeah, I mean, after 54 bites and only five trips to the hospital, with the exception of the Egyptian cobra, Every time I've been to the hospital, it's been by a snake bite that I don't use the venom on. Oh, okay. Like the Eastern Diamondback. I mean, that was a huge snake. Yeah. It was a five and a half foot Eastern Diamondback. So I don't know how much the self-immunizing would have helped, but it would have helped some, but I don't know if it would have been enough because that's yeah. a big snake that bit and held on yeah. and then pumped its gland again a second time. And uh, are there studies that demonstrate the effectiveness of autoimmunization? I don't think there's any official studies, um, but there's a lot of writings on Bill Haas's success with it. Um, people like myself and other people that self immunize, the fact that we live through these bites, I think that's study enough for me. And a lot of people uh, criticize uh, about uh, self immunization, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't know your work, you know, you're always dealing with reptiles and venomous reptiles. Yeah. So you're doing this because you need this, right? It's an extra insurance policy for me. I also stock anti-venom, okay. you know, um, but it's just an extra help, just something that'll help me. I, I don't really condone self-immunizing. I, I wouldn't recommend it to people because most people are just collectors. Okay. Like on a Saturday, I extract from 130 cobras. It's a higher risk that I'm going to get bit than you just cleaning two or three snake cages that you have at home. Mm -hmm. So I don't recommend the self immunizing part because um, there's the two main downfalls to it is one, you can develop hypersensitivity, mm -hmm. which means that your body becomes allergic to the venom. Yeah. And then the next time you get bit or even inject yourself, it can put yourself into anaphylactic shock, which can kill you in 10 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, much quicker than the venom can. The number one uh, side effect that is not good from self-immunizing is complacency. Mm -hmm. it, it, it tends to make people complacent. They they handle more carelessly because in the back of their mind, they feel like they're not going to die. Okay. So Ray, how much a treatment for snake bites costs here in the US? It averages about $100,000. $100,000. But it, it can go up. Uh, my rattlesnake Bite was six hundred and thirty, oh six hundred thirty thousand. Oh my god! It's a so, lot of money. Yeah, that that's probably one of the higher ones that I know of. Okay. But I, I know some people that have left with two two hundred thousand dollar hospital bills. Um, if you're lucky, it might go as low. Rattlesnake bites could be as low as sixty thousand if it's a small rattlesnake bite. Um, but the more, the longer you're in and the more anti-venom they use and the more treatment you get, the higher that bill goes. Okay. It's very expensive. Do you have a message uh, that you learned from all these years that you would like to send to people from Brazil? Um, all of your work? Well, I wish you could enjoy it as much as I do yeah. in the United <laughs> States. Um, but educate yourself i mean yeah. you guys have a lot of dangerous snakes in brazil yes, we do. Um, so i highly recommend educating yourselves to what you have there and um don't be afraid of them just respect them yeah for sure anywhere there's snakes which is pretty much everywhere okay um it's it's a good idea to know what you're dealing with okay so Ray, I think that's it. Okay. I'm really thankful for you inviting us, me and Alessandro, to come to your house and make this interview, showing these incredible animals. Well. And <laughs> pessoal que tiver alguma dúvida sobre como funciona esse processo de autoimunização, eu vou deixar um link aqui no, no vídeo, aqui embaixo, sobre o site do Ray, tá? Que ele conta toda a vida dele e sobre esse processo de autoimunização. Então, se alguém tiver alguma dúvida também 
pode me mandar e-mail, pode mandar mensagem, vou deixar tudo aqui descrito aqui embaixo, beleza? É isso então, gente. Muito obrigado e até a próxima. Nothing to say So just wait for me as the day